relishing this opportunity. I got down to Brisbane here a couple of days before this test match and saw the Aussie boys in the nets, and Ryan Harris was absolutely creaming them in the nets. Stuart Broad angling one in that, that delivery, and Ryan Harris nailing it again. His timing and his footwork and his front footwork and weight transfer. Gets it to run off the face of the bat. Broad's got six. <laughs> I left the landlady a note. You're going to talk to her. Oh, yeah, well, I heard the shower running. So I just slithered under the door. The shower door? God, no. Back door. No way I was going in there. <laughs> oh, something's got to give. We should go for a drink. England be delighted with that. Get Ryan Harris out. Then you have nine down, Nathan Lyon at the crease. Now he can hang around. Every now and then, LBW type dismissal mode. But he's got oh, a um, he's got a bat with Brad our agent's now coming over later. Joe, today? Why? Who called who? Did you call her or did she call you? What are you, Dr. Zeus? <laughs> Send her a text. Why'd you do that? You know I haven't been breathing lately? My movement? My voice? My Alexander technique? What about your emotional memory? I haven't done that in weeks! She likes that guy in the tub. What's that? Joe! She likes that guy in the novel you're writing. The one in the tub. Novella. And he's an interesting bloke. But what does he do? Do? He doesn't do anything. That's the whole point. It's a bit dry, isn't it? It's a social commentary. He's opted out of life. The tub is his cocoon. So he's supposed to emerge from this tub as some kind of beautiful butterfly? That's right. Helps if the bowler bowls it in the right position. And he had his spot picked out. So why is she coming? Joe? Well, I don't know. You were asleep. There was nothing happening in the cricket. But that's the whole point. You're not supposed to ruin that by texting. You're in your red chair. I'm in my red chair. There's nothing happening in the cricket. Now she's going to turn up here and ask of us. Well, can I text her back? Is it too late? The single. The pub. Good faith in line. Well, the cricket will be on at the pub. Brilliant! Did I have a? What's this? <laughs> Don't remember walking into a tree. When did that happen? Well, last night. We were walking home from the pub. I was on the path and you were on the road. You don't remember the parked car, the tree. It had these long low branches. For some reason you decided you could fit between the car and the tree. I don't know why you didn't just walk around it. <sighs> so anyway, I powered on and suddenly I heard this loud crack. I spun around and... <sighs> you were just carrying on as if nothing had happened. Well, I asked you if you were all right and you just said, what? Oh. <laughs> you know anyone called Bambi? Beast. What? Wildlife. Protected species. Did I do something? No, no, I'm asking if you know anyone called Bambi. 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 I don't think so. Why? When I woke up this morning, I had the name Bambi going round and round my head. Someone from the pub, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Don't bother. What? I turned the room over yesterday. 
Found two dollars under your chair, but that was it. <laughs> no, I think I had a coaster. When we got home last night, I sat here and I was looking at a beer coaster. So, well, I think it had an idea for a story on it. I don't remember any coaster. What? Well, can I check your seat? End of the over. The story had a lead role for you in it. Well, what sort of story was it? Sword and sorcerer? It's a slapstick romance? Torture porn? I think it was a comedy. Comedy? Really? What? Nothing. I'm funny.